Today's verse comes from Psalm 119, verse 2. Blessed are those who keep his testimonies, who seek him with the whole heart. We know that when we look at the Ten Commandments, Jesus uh, was able to help us understand these commandments. Yes, they're laws, but really under grace, it comes down to two laws. Love God with all your heart, might, soul, and strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. But you will not understand how to love your neighbor as yourself through the love of God. Understanding that we don't love ourselves because of who we are or what we've done or what we've accomplished or comparing ourselves to other people. It's loving ourselves through the lenses of of God's view, knowing that we are his children, that he loves us unconditionally. And when we understand that love and he forgives us of all of our sins and he never remembers our sins anymore, that's called a love of redemption. I am redeemed. I'm not just positive and strong. No, I am positive and strong because I am redeemed. I know that I'm a child of God and he will never leave me. We must understand that our love for God must come first. Without loving God with my whole heart, I can't actually love my wife to the full potential and unconditionally as God loves me. As Jesus loves the church, I am to love my wife as her husband. As I am to look upon strangers that I may not know the names of, I must also remember that there is not one person that I can look at that God doesn't love either. And God wants to use us to love him, yes, but also to love them so that they may know that an invisible God loves them too. How will they know if an invisible God loves them if the children of that God do not love them first? Also, how do I love a stranger until I know how to love God through understanding how much he's done for me? I love God with all my heart. Every decision, every day I wake up, I pray, I read my Bible, and that helps me. As I love him with all my heart, I can then love my wife with all my heart, my children with all my heart, and then love my neighbor as myself. As those two greatest commandments are two things I'm obedient in, we know that we are blessed to hold those testimonies and faithfulness and promises of God to our heart, that we may be blessed sons and daughters of God.